Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Alright, I'm knocking out the rest of the set tonight. Mercury retrograde celebration, even though it's almost over. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think it would be rather interesting to throw these cards down and see if any of the following scenarios resonated throughout the last couple of weeks. I mean... That is what it's all about, right? Time and energy being fluid. We'll see. All right, I got four left. What's next? Taurus. You're up. Okay. That, and I'll be honest, I just want to put the Halloween cards away. So, <laughs> we're going to finish these last four readings today. I'm going to put the Halloween cards away since it is November 1st and... Season's pretty much over, so anywho. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Nine of Bats came out to play. We'll see if it comes back out. If it doesn't resonate, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not your reading, it's not your message. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And the cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. And again, as I, I've done in the last few readings, friendly reminder, this channel is geared for 18 and older only. Um, I'd be really rather if you were under the age of 18 that you not watch the video. And if I lose subscribers, I lose subscribers. If I lose advertisers, I lose advertisers. I'm from the perspective of a parent. There are certain things that are not for kids, and this is one of them. So I'll see you on your 18th birthday, okay? Taurus. Who came back to haunt you? Who's coming back to haunt you? devil in the reverse. Oh man. Could be a Capricorn. Could be someone that there's a strong pull and someone you're disconnected from. Or you had to fight to distance yourself from that that strong magnetic pull. Possibly some obsessive behavior. My goodness, I gotta silence this thing. I am so sorry. Put that on silent so it stops being obnoxious. There we go. Alright, what happened? Hmm. I'm sensing this disconnected because somebody regained control. Somebody got the ducks in a row. Got the crap together. Okay. So here and now. Judgment. Okay. Well, sometimes you gotta bury something to see if it resurrects, right? Oh boy. Why are they coming back? Justice, they're coming back to level the playing field. This is very interesting all of a sudden. Strong magnetic pull, somebody got their crap together. Trying to resurrect the dead. Not literally, figuratively. Coming back to level the playing field maybe? Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards and give it for Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this Mercury retrograde season. Right on. Last Mercury retrograde of 2020.
Okay, why is the seven imps here? Why is somebody getting their stuff together a cause for Queer Swords? Cause for heartbreak, okay. One more. Four of coins reversed. Heartbreak, release, one more. Move on, okay. This definitely wasn't easy. Magnetic pull, possibly some toxic stuff interwoven into this. Releasing, moving on, breaking hearts, letting go. Hard to say who let go of who. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here for Taurus? The sun, okay. Queen of Cups reversed. Judgment reversed. Acknowledgement of a connection. Acknowledgement of a connection. Making the sun shine in their world again. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Ace of Wands reversed. They may be a little bit afraid it's not going to be reciprocated. They may be afraid it's not going to go anywhere. Possibly they may fear rejection. I don't think this ended well. Still... Eight of Swords all wrapped up in their head. They've, they've been lulling about this. Going round and round about it. Possibly it came to an end because someone needed to get their stuff together. And hearts had to break and things had to be released and people had to move on. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? For why Taurus's person's coming back. Coming back to haunt them. Why this double reversed is coming back to haunt them. Why is justice here? Death reversed. One more. Coins reversed. They didn't want things to change.
want to come out of the cold and they want to lay the toxicity and stuff to rest maybe they want to get past the heartbreak why is death reversed here hermit They may have realized what they did wrong. They may have realized the error of their ways. That's why they want to come back and level the playing field. They did some going inside. Reversal of a judgment call. So possibly with this six of swords up here, after it all ended and, and the hearts broke and the great release, the letting go, and you're crossing that river to the other side, you got a lot of time to think about things. Hmm. All right, well, Taurus, let's find out how you think about it. How do you feel about it, Star? What do you think about it? Ten of Pumpkins, what are you going to do about it? Five of Pumpkins. Five of pumpkins. You've healed. I don't think you're doing anything about it, Taurus. Top of the star is going to four of rods. You're stable. You're good. Things are stable, you're celebrating. <laughs> Queen of Rods, Five of Blades reversed. You're stable, you're celebrating, you're walking on, you're magnificent, you're leaving the pieces behind you and healing. Okay. Why is the Ten of Pumpkins here? Nine of Swords reversed. You're not losing any sleep. You're not giving this a second thought. You got your Ten Pumpkins. Money in the bank. Probably a good job. You're on the path to abundance. You're good. You're golden. Why is the five pumpkins here? For what Taurus is going to do about this situation. Oh, oh, the knight of coins showed up. Okay. One more. King of Blades, one more. Okay, I'll take two. Five of Rods, Hangman in the reverse. Mm, I mean, some of you may be hung up on it for a little bit, like maybe 30 seconds. But I don't think you're going to stay up in the gallows long. I see you making logical, non emotional decisions based on facts facts of the situation. Why is the... I wonder why the, why, why the nine of coin, knight of coins showed up. Why the knight of coins show up? Oh. Queen of coins. Okay. You're a catch, Taurus. And you deserve the best. So, I think you may let them come in out of the cold as long as they're non-confrontational and they have an offer, you know, suited to the Queen of Coins, which is your one of your cards, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. 
but you're going to be lo logical and not emotional about it. And they better come back with truth. And not come up at a ripping and a roaring because they're not going to hang you up in the hangman's gallows because you're good. You've healed. You've disconnected from whatever toxicities or, or strong magnetic pull there was in this situation. Okay, let's... Uh, Get your advice. The Tower and the Page of Pumpkins. Whoa, whoa. More pumpkins and pentacles showing up here for my Taurus friends. The Tower's already done falling. And it's up to you. It's up to you how big of an apology it's going to take to rebuild it if you choose to rebuild it. What's it worth to you, Taurus? What's it worth to you? The five of bats and then a knight of ghosts in reverse. If you choose to pick the pieces up that you left behind already, I gotta throw two more on that. That that night of ghosts, I, I don't quite know what to say to that. The devil and the nine of coins. I would be awful careful of what's in that cup. Is it a cup of love and apology or is it a cup of toxic codependency? This is where you decide if you want to go back into a toxic codependent relationship or you want to stand on your own because you got nine pentacles, you got ten pentacles, you got it going on, you're healing. But again, it's up to you what you do with it. I, I, I honestly think that they're coming back to level the playing field. Balls in your court. Taurus, it really is. I gave a similar message the other day. I can't remember whose reading it was, but the choice is yours. But no facts. Okay. Let me know, because uh, that was crazy. It's interesting energies going on with you guys right now. We'll delve more into your energies when I start the November readings later this week. So, have fun with the remainder of Retrograde. Be kind to yourself. Do what's best for you. Be kind to each other. Thanks for stopping by. Love you to bits. See you next time.